And there's the stream, hopefully. Now let me post this place. The other place. My phone, actually. Oh, here it is. Nope. Where the fuck did I go? I need that for chat group. Yeah. I'll be right back, apparently. Found my phone. I shall. Oops. Oh no, you can hear the other. St oh no, that's just an ad. Watching another stream on my phone. A man who was very good at Adult Sun Link in Smash Brothers. Can you hear me? I hope you can at least hear me. And I know you can't see anything. It's because I had to go find my phone, so I hadn't started the game up yet. But I'll start it up now. I hit start stream, and then I was like, oh, I don't actually have a phone to watch chat with. Oops. Wait, where's the chat only option? Did they remove it? What the hell? Did they remove the chat only option? Why did they do that? It's annoying as hell. Oh well. Yeah, I set my phone to chat only so I don't see my stream on the phone and I don't have to watch it. Oh, also, it's not actually working, so I still can't see chat on it. That's probably why the option's not there, because it was, uh, God, the Twitch app is bad. There we go. Now it's working. You should be able to see Celeste. Unless not. Wait. You know, I'm just gonna switch to my main file from now on, because why not? Where was I? I was here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to switch to my main file. That's a lie. I'll go to the... I'll stick on this one. So I can keep track of what I've actually done, because I don't remember. Okay, we did Reflection. We didn't do the Summit B-side. So that's what we're going to do first. So, much like the main level, where, what, ascended Madeline? I don't know. But, uh, we, we have the double, we have the double dash. We have the Mario Kart double dash. Hmm, that's weird. How do I do that one? I believe it's more like Super Stand Instinct, Madeline.
Madeline Rose. I don't I don't really know much about. I know that they have new forms that and one of them makes their hair pink. Oops, I didn't do that right. Oop, save it. And there's no benefit to saving it. Oh, I know what I need to do here. I need to dash as soon as I hit the spring. Ah, that's it. So the spring pushes you away a certain set distance, but if you dash as soon as- oops. If you dash as soon as you hit the spring, you'll cancel that. And then I don't have to go so far away and I can make it through the gap. And I just screwed up. Oop. Wow, that's hard to do. It's so off-rhythm from how you've done the dashes so far. Because there's usually a cooldown on the dash. The spring resets that. Hmm. This is where the game gets extra hard again, by the way, if you're curious. Dang it. Like... There's definitely a difficulty bump specifically on this B-side, I think. Oops. Okay, why is it not... Okay, how do I get the height, though? Do I have to hit the top of the spring or something? That, that spring I keep dying at at the end there. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I don't have the height. Ah, oh, okay. I think I do need to just hit the top of the spring. Ah, do an up dash. Do a diagonal up dash at the end there. That's the secret. Ooh, did the last part first try. First try every time. What was that supposed to format as? Oof. It is a little shorter than the main level, because this main level is very, very long. Basically two full levels. So we don't get to spend as much time in each individual segment. Oh, that's not the end of it. Ooh. I really thought that was the end of it, and I almost I le actually let go of the controller. And it's like, nope, you've got one more ball to hit. And turn this volume up for me a little bit. Shy is messaging me saying she'll be a half an hour, but she'll catch the tail end of the stream. Don't worry about waiting for her, she doesn't know how long this will take. Joke's on her, I definitely wasn't ever gonna wait for her. Wait, what What did I run into? What? What? What killed me? Wait. Oh, wait. I don't want to be here. Oh, I can't use both dashes either. That was stupid. Oh, I need to jump, and then, um, that's obvious. Jump off this thing, then use the dash. Then jump straight up, and then somehow grab the thing? I'm doing a diagonal dash into the spikes. Which is wrong, but my mind wants me to go that direction, so that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Oh! I jump outwards and then dash back in diagonally. So I probably hasn't even watched last- Oh wait, that one I was supposed to do the jump off of. Rude. That's rude. That's like the punishment for not paying attention or something. Ooh, that's close. 
Ah oh, man, it's always a little ominous when you get the binoculars, because you're like, well, I guess this room's incredibly long and complicated. Although this one's actually pretty straightforward, all things considered. I just need to keep jumping off things. Over and over. Looks like basically the same maneuver. Dang it! I bet I can't use both my jumps to do that either. Ooh, I was right over the spikes. I think I could have still made that dash, but it would have been after infinite fight. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, wait, I could have made that, maybe? Ooh, just barely. And yeah, just like the main level. The main thing here is going through the other level's gimmicks and themes, but with two dashes. Instead of the one. Boing, boing, grab, fall, grab, fall, boing, grab, grab, get over the other side sometime and jump off. I think I get it. Wait, how many dashes can I use? And, oh, I can use as many as I want to that one. Okay, I think this seems doable. Yeah, not bad. Didn't really need binoculars for it. That's bad, I can't use my dashes for that. Hmm. Wait, she doesn't come back, does she? <laughs> like, that's just... I just gone now. There it is. Oh, I see what I have to do there. And I can't use my dash like that. Cannot use dashes to grab this thing. Nor do I need to. This next bit looks tricky. I had to quickly identify which ones did and did not have spikes. God, I love this goop. It's so much fun. No! That's disappointing. I don't even think I was supposed to fail that. I just did. Wait, am I doing it wrong? I am. That's... that is also incorrect. Crashing into a wall? Also the wrong move. Again, not ideal. Oops, I fucked up. I wanted to grab onto this first. And then jump off and then do the dash. And that way I get to add the wall jump. Uh, horizontal distance. To my total distance traveled. Which should be enough plus the two dashes. Because the two dashes just aren't enough to get me there. Alone, as far as I can tell. But if I do that, then I get to get the wall jump without using a dash, you see. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wait. Nope. Hmm. Okay, so I need to be real careful about exiting the goop this time. Wait. 
kind of felt like I was holding left there. I am holding left hard. Okay, then it has to be... I guess I have to go diagonal through the goop? That seems difficult, and it's unfair that they would ask me to do something so difficult. What am I missing? Like, I'm holding left. As soon as I enter the queue? Oh, of course. I just figured it out. Same thing they did with the spring in the first area. You have to cancel the goop. You have to cancel momentum you get from leaving the goop with a dash, but I can't cancel it too early or I won't make the second goo. And then I have to go around. Okay. Honestly, I don't get why they make video games so hard. It's like, wouldn't it just be nicer if it were all really easy? Like, why do they make us work so hard to get our... Oh, what? The dash was over. That's rude. is disappointing. Wait. Oh, okay. On that last scoop, I need to jump out of it to get extra height. So I don't have to use two dashes to get to get there. That's not jumping out of the goop. Reminder that when you leave the goop, you can hit jump to get a little bit of a boost. Which I didn't do. I did on the, f the first one. One right before the one I was screwed up on. Oops, that was just wrong. I'm not gonna answer this man. I don't know if you can see this man messaging me. If he doesn't know who I am anymore, he doesn't deserve to be on my friends list. Also, if he hits expand on my profile info, it will literally say my name. So there's that too. I mean, it will also say several other people's names in a probably problematic um, sexual fanfic that a friend wrote about me and several other TF- and another TF2 player. I think there's just me and one other man. It's probably bad that that's on my profile, but I can't bring myself to remove it. There it is. Oh, can you guys not see the Steam message? Different games do that differently. Depending on how the game hooks into the Steam overlay. OBS sometimes picks up the, uh, stream mes the Steam messages, and sometimes it doesn't. It may not be in this time. But someone is asking me who I am. He doesn't know who I am because I have too many name changes, and he referenced something in my profile about name changes. And it's like, you could just go look. Oh, they tricked me. Because I grabbed them to left wall every other time and they knew it. Oops, wait. My profile is absolutely a slash pick in more than one sense of the word. There's a slash pick between me and I believe Hildreth, who is a TF2 medic. Who. Is it Hildreth? It may have been Hildreth. He was a medic, and back when I played Spy, I stabbed him a lot. And, uh... He was obsequiously nice. But only because he wanted people to join his super teams in the future. Oh, I can't. Use that dash.
Oops. There we go. Jump out. Bash into. No! God, I had that. I flubbed it. Ooh, I'm gonna screw that up. Ah, I did screw that up. Anyway, a man on my team. Uh, can I save this? Yep. Just barely. A man on my Team Fortress 2 team at the time. Wrote a violent sexual fan fiction between me and this medic. And he didn't want me to share it with anybody, I think. So I made it my profile. But it's past the break. So you have to click show more, and no one ever does that. Because no one puts anything good past the show more on their Steam profile. Just a bunch of dumb shit. Like me. And my bad fanfiction. Damn it! Ah, oh, it shoots you just far enough that if you dash up again, if you get too used to the dashes you're doing, if you use the same timing as the dashes you've been doing to get there, you will run into the spike, so you have to do a different dash timing. You have to dash... Probably diagonally up. It's always diagonal. There we go. Um, I was on a team that some people called a super team because it was the best team and we won. But I don't think it was a super team, because seven of the starters were just people who had already been playing on a team together called Tangerine. And we all liked each other and got along. We were actually sort of the shining example of the team that was really, really good and playing at the top of Highlander that wasn't a super team. And then we sort of became a super team by bringing on a sniper main and an engineer main who weren't really part of our friends group, but were both considered to be the best. But like... Seven us were still the thing. And technically, we were supposed to bring on a heavy that was considered to be one of the best, but he was a complete shithead and never, ever played. He played in three games. Um, out of, like, what, the 15 there were in the season or whatever the fuck? I hate that dude. And he never showed up to scrims. And, like, he might have been theoretically good, but he was good at the easiest class. And Highlander. It was heavy. Heavy is the easiest class in Highlander. Um... And like, but also a really important class to have be on the same page as everyone else. So we actually, even on the rare times, he would actually just m manage, he'd like decide to show up for a match after not doing any of the practices. And he would play like garbage. And we were a really great team. So twice it didn't matter. But then one time we were pretty sure we weren't gonna run him because he hadn't been showing up like usual. And then he like showed up for the match and our sniper was friends with him. So we had to run him. And it was like some dumb bullshit. And he was like high as hell. And it's the only match we lost that season. It was a really, really miserable game. And then we didn't run him again, even though he was technically still on the team. But since he was technically still on the team, he still got the medals from Valve. And he was like super proud of it afterwards. And like post on the forums bragging about how he won and shit. And I was like, you weren't there. Like, <laughs> you didn't play. Why are you proud of this? You did nothing. And the only thing you did was make our entire team scramble every week because you said you'd show up and you wouldn't and then we gave you another chance because you promised really hard this time and then you'd be a complete dick to everybody and then you'd apologize and be a dick again that man's the worst i'm not bitter or anything though it's not like he made that season a hell for our team and then bragged about how what the hell yo the game just minimized on me for no reason what was that I don't know what that was. Yeah, no, and this dude was just a complete shit otherwise, too. Just, and that wasn't obvious. He's like the only dude I ever actually went off on in my entire time in competitive Team Fortress 2. Like, there were other bad people, but like, that dude was the worst. 
And then when I was like, you weren't there and you didn't play, he was like, well, actually, what you don't know is we weren't going to allow you to be on the team. Me and Max weren't going to let Max being the sniper main. Max is under the impression that that was his team because he thought he was putting it together. But the fact is, is that he came in and, like, talked to a tangerine person, and then their tangerine was like, you guys can join us. Max had, Max had brought together him, the heavy, and the engineer. And they were trying to make a super team, and they couldn't make one. And so they came to our team, Tangerine, which was all a bunch of friends, and we were like, okay, sure, let's play together. Um, and then, like, Max sort of set up some scrims, but, like, it's not like the team was not being run by him. The team was run by our Tangerine friends. Tangerine being the, the people I was with who are cool, honestly. And so, you know, like, this heavy was like, we weren't even going to let you be on the team. And it's like, it wasn't your choice? Like, you and Max did not run that team? <laughs> it's really weird that you're super proud of not playing and acting like you did something? That man had a problem. Many problems, really. Oh, I missed a switch. Yeah. Oh, I could have landed on the spring. I'm an idiot. He apparently got better. He was relatively young, I guess. Like, I don't know, 18 or so? Maybe even 17? I don't remember. Hmm, I've messed this up. Nope. Nope. Hey. Not save. Not save. Save. I forgot that guy was there. Oops. Anyways, I'll stop bitching about this man. But the opportunity came up and he's he's one of very few people in my life to have genuinely gotten under my- well, very few people in my life since I, I don't know, let's say turned 22, give or take, who have gotten under my skin. Let's wait for this man to go. There we go. Dude, he was so bad. That day, when he showed up. Like, literally, it lost us the game. It was, like, the worst map he could have done it on. It was our heart. It was our only... It was against the other team that could beat us, too. It was, like... There were two other teams that had a realistic chance of beating us that season. And it was against one of them. The one that was probably harder. That was harder. And ended up being harder in the end. So it was, like, the one match we really needed people for. And, like... God, just the worst man. I said I'd stop, didn't I? Damn it. Woo! Not quite. Hmm. You did go to me. This is awkward. How do I do that? Is it just like a... You hat? Oop! I could have grabbed! That was stupid. I wasn't ready to grab the wall there. I thought I'd hit the spring directly. Oop! <laughs> I dashed really quickly because I realized I was going to hit the guy. The cute little ghost go ghost goo guy. Not supposed to be diagonal. Really? That was also supposed to be diagonal. Uh. 
Dang it. Ugh, this first guy's so hard. I don't like this first guy. The rest of it, once I get into it, it's like a groove, but... This first little guy. Okay, let me try and find a consistent quick setup to get past this, dude. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. That's what, if if I know like the first when I come into a room that's difficult in the game that goes on a cycle like this, I try and find a really consistent way to get past the first bit incredibly quickly. Just so that like I don't need to worry about that. Dang it, I could have I I could have had that. I could have grabbed. That's not the right timing. I didn't wait. No, wait, what's the timing on this, dude? Whew, there we go. Yeah, I don't like TF2. You don't like the games you play competitively. What are you, stupid? No, actually, CSGO I really, really dislike. I gave Overwatch an honest shot competitively. I was on a team for a bit. Honestly, the main reason I stopped playing... Oops, that was stupid. I did a big jump off that cloud and right into the spike. The main reason I stopped playing uh, with that team wasn't really because of Overwatch. I wasn't actually tired of Overwatch yet. Um, I mean, I wasn't really liking it in retrospect as much as I felt like I should be. But uh, the main reason I left that team was just... It was an awkward place where, like, the team was friends and I liked them all a lot, but, like, half of them wanted to take it really seriously. Like, two of them wanted to take it really seriously and had a good chance of doing so and were, like, improving. Um... One other person on the team wasn't really that interested in improving that much. He was alright, but like he wasn't going to get better, and he kind of knew that. He just wanted to play. And then two people on the team wanted to improve and get better, or so they thought, but like they weren't going to do it, and we could all tell. It just wasn't going to happen, and it's like, I like you all, but it's not fun to play this game against competitive people and get crushed, because we've got three players who aren't going to improve, and... It's just, they just don't have it. They just don't got the sauce. You know what I mean? They didn't have the sauce. It was a sad story. If they'd had the sauce, maybe I would have gotten more into competitive Overwatch, but I imagine I would have eventually flamed out when I realized it's not the game I wanted it to be. And, in, and it, over time, it's turned even less into that game. It's, it's even less of an FPS now than it was then. The current Overwatch meta is having tanks run into each other. And there's barely any shooting or movement. It's all just like stand here, hit these butt abilities. It's the worst. Like, even the more casual players are just like, this is not an enjoyable experience, and I don't like watching it, and I don't like playing it. Like, if the NFL first started opening right around the time when the NFL players all figured out how to do the most boring possible plays or something. Just bad stuff. Um, I just like CS, period, but I think CS goes the worst. Uh, to me... One of the least, and this is probably a silly thing to say considering that I both really enjoy aiming and that I think it's an integral part of the game, but to me, if someone wins fights 90% of the time in a game because they move their mouse better than the other person, that's really boring. To me, I'm, I'm really not interested in that. And in Counter-Strike, I know there's strategy, I know there's positioning, I know there's like people covering angles and doing callouts and working as a team, but like... 90% of the time, it's just a dude clicking on heads. And that's, like, all it is. And that's just not that interesting. 
It's just like who moves the mouse better and then does the correct choices to stand in the right spots. Uh-oh. Whew, that was a bit of recovery. That was a nice one. I'm gonna give myself props on that. Yeah, actually, I just read a write-up from a person, a forum post on a place none of you go to, uh, but a dude who's very into football and sports, and he wrote about how basically NFL is a soft- football's a soft game right now in the NFL, and, a real, and the unfortunate fact is the soft game is really boring, so it is pretty boring right now. He mostly wrote it as a way to denigrate, denigrate, de uh, denigrate, I can't say it. I was gonna say John Brady, which is not his name. I see what I have to do. He mostly wrote it as a way to denigrate Tom Brady, which I also appreciate. And also explain why Tom Brady is so good and why that doesn't mean as much as people think. Because he's very, very good at something that's very easy. Oop. At least this room gives you multiple chances because they know the fire, the snowballs are a little bit... They're not quite RNG. The snowballs will always go where you are at the right same time. But, like, it's a little bit RNG. But the wind lets you have a second chance sometimes. Too early. You're not supposed to share the secret names, MTD. The secret names of power. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I felt it in my heart. I accepted defeat before it even happened. Damn it. Ooh, Ooh that was close. Barely jumped on that. Honestly, a little bit of luck. Bad, bad timing. I waited so long to get the timing that far off. Wait, hold on. I'll the next one. A little disappointing. Nope, too soon. I feel like I'm getting worse at timing these. I think I actually am, like I'm getting impatient. Because I feel like I should have the timing down by now and I definitely don't. I'm gonna concentrate for a bit here. If I clear this room, I won't reach out. Close though. Nope. Close enough for one spawn. Oh, okay. That was difficult. Oh dang. Speak of difficult. Hmm. Oh. That's pretty easy, never mind. Wait, oh, I have to go around. Shit.
Now... Will I have enough dashes to get there? Do I have to not dash on my way to the button? Hmm. I think I'll be fine with a dash left and a dash right. Are there any interesting non-retro styled FPS out there? Um... Probably. Off the top of my head. Hard to think of one that's real recent. Shit. What? Wait, how do I get up there? Were my dash is gonna be enough to get me up there? I don't look like they weren't. Fuck. Sigil got pushed back to April. Um. There was that weird horror FPS that was set in some sort of bizarre alien dimension where everything was very biological, and it looked kind of similar to Agony, so a lot of people kept mixing up with Agony, the very bad first-person horror game that was bad and bad and bad and set in hell. But that looked pretty interesting. It's not out yet, and it probably won't be out for a while. But it looks sort of like a survival horror, but definitely an FPS. I see what I do here. No, I don't. Yep. Nope. Don't walk into those spikes. That would be my advice. Well, I'm just barely slapping those spikes. Ooh. Yeah, I can't think of a particularly exciting FPS off the top of my head. Not a recent one. That isn't, like, retro-style. Like... I feel like all the, all the AAA people are making really boring shit. And all the indie people are like, We're tired of this boring shit, we want the shit we like. And the shit we like was retro, so we'll make retro shit. So there's no one out there who's like, I want to make a new thing that's good. That's supposed to be diagonal, I screwed that up. It's always the diagonals. Hey, that's really tight timing. Don't run into spikes. That's my second lesson. I know that was my first lesson, but it's also my second lesson. Is don't run into spikes. Spikes will fucking cut you wide open. Shit, that's complicated. Over there. I don't think this this spike is... This thing I keep dying to, I don't think I'm supposed to die to it this much. Is it not supposed to be the hard part of this room? I've just got the wrong timing on it. Hmm. I didn't get enough time to look at that. To get it in my head firmly. Sigil's the one that's by the, um... It's a joint effort by both the Bulletstorm guys and the, uh... 
finding of Ethan Carter, guys, right? I have a feeling Sigil isn't going to be what people want. Which is not to say it'll be bad. But I think people are expecting this sort of, like, dark, soulsy, immersive narrative thing. And to be fair, they are trying to do some cool stuff with narrative, it sounds like, but... I think a lot of people did not get the memo that it's a rogue. That's wrong. A lot of people did not get the memo that it's a rogue like. Unless I'm misremembering what sigil is. But I believe it is procedurally generated. It's it's that one. Oh, sigil is Romero's or Mega Wall. Shoot, then what the, what's the game I'm talking about? <laughs> I can't remember. It had one of the best, uh, one of the best E3 trailers of all time, though, for sure. Ah, dick. Hmm. I shouldn't have dashed into that spring. That screwed everything up. That's when everything changed. Okay. I also shouldn't have dashed into those spikes. Lesson three. Don't dash into spikes. I really think of this, I know it's technically like a video game stream for my friends, but I really think of it as a life advice stream. Uh, for my, for, for my potential customers. Wait. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing the exact opposite of what I'm supposed to do there. I'm trying to dash over that block. And what I should be doing is waiting for it and jumping onto it. But yeah, that game is that game that I talked about, whatever it's called. Those two games, I guess, are the only ones I can think of, and neither of them are out yet. I'm probably forgetting something cool that... Oof. That someone did at some point recently. But I can't think of a good FPS game. Slim Pickens. I should have trusted myself and dashed straight left, but I didn't. I dashed upwards. Because I felt like the thing wasn't going to get there in time. It's really interesting to me just how much of being good at Celeste is just, like, having the nerves to believe that things will work out the way that they're, they look like they will. The way that they definitely will, because it's determinate. Well, that's definitely wrong. I think I just, I'm bursting out of the red bubble too early. That's all. Whoa! Oh, they had spikes! That's a mean trick. Witchfire, yes. Funny you mentioned Chex Quest. Oh, that's a game! Chex Quest HD is coming out. Or is out. I don't know which. But it's a real thing. I saw the trailer for it. It, um... It looks bad. And I mean, like, it, it visually looks bad. Like, it's... it's... They made all of the... Instead of having a bunch of sprites, it is instead a bunch of, like, really featureless 3D models. And I can't tell- I can't quite place what aesthetic it reminds me of, but it reminds me of some very simplistic amateur, uh, uh aesthetics. Oops. What? I didn't 
didn't like throw the button. That's weird. The new single player crossfire game. Oh yeah, crossfire. For those not in the know, Crossfire is the, um... It's like basically the shitty Chinese knockoff of, uh, of Counter-Strike. It's got a ten more modes and is way less polished. It's the TLDR. Okay, what do I do here? I didn't actually think this through. Hmm. What do I do there? I don't know. Oh, I know. That's it. go. I had to get the boost off the block to save my dash. It is the most popular in FPS in the world, yeah. That is correct. Because it's a free-to-play Counter-Strike. Hmm. Oh, we're to the summit part of the summit, by the way. I hope you like falling blocks! At least they gave me a checkpoint. You run out of stamina real fast here, huh? To slip up and around. Oof. This track does convey a certain sort of determination that I like, I guess. Not my favorite remix. But then again, like. The normal version of the song is so good. That's bad. Please, please respawn. Please come back. Ah, uh, not in time. Yeah, I don't really understand why Chex Quest is popular. Like, why does it have a community? Ooh, that's that's a mean trick. That's a that's a, that's a rude boy thing to do. I see. It's getting me ready for later when it's gonna do more of that. I need to hit up and right, not. Oopsie. It's because a dumb thing people remember. I mean. So is Teletubbies. And there's not a Teletubbies community? He said, phrasing it as a question. Ooh, this is fun. I like this one. Ah, boy. Here we go to the big win. Not quite. I mean, I think I'd know if there was a Teletubbies community, right? 
Okay, wait, what the fuck? How do I do this? Oh, I know, I know how to do this. Okay. In order to have enough dashes, I'm gonna have to jump... Use the cloud to jump around that corner. Which is an incredibly tight thing that I did first try. And then I still didn't have enough. But like, Shell... The thing is, they don't do that. Like, you know that really dumb thing from when we were kids? I am into it and think about it at least once a week and engage with it on a regular basis. Okay, wait, what the hell do I do here? Oh, I see. That's the, that's the move I gotta do. Oops. People who like it won't give up. Yeah, but why? Why are they so stubborn? Yeah, that's true. It's pretty easy to make a Chex Quest thing. Because it's like Doom, and Doom is the most... Doom is the most modded video game in history. <laughs> right? That's a tricky jump. I almost had that one. Ooh, I really almost had that one, but I don't think I jumped high enough. Hey, who curates these mountain paths? Like, who's, who's supposed to be cleaning this shit up? This is not safe. Like, someone's clearly been here recently. These checkpoint markers are, like, not... I can look at this checkmark mine here, it's perfectly fresh. Someone comes up this path and maintains this shit. And they left all these goddamn spikes just lying around. Is this what my tax dollars are going to? Made it. Oh, it's the old lady's bird. Shit, you're right. It totally is. That was pretty tight. Let's see. Oops. I need to not jump off this cloud. Oops. Oh, I actually need to walk off the cloud or it'll shoot me up. I see. It's not that hard once you figure out you need to walk the, off the clouds rather than just not jump. Not so bad. I knew they'd want me to keep my dash. Wait. Is there something up here? No, there's not. I was gonna say, that looks like a- that super looks like it's a hidden path covered by cloud. But there's not any hidden objects in the uh, B side, so that didn't make sense to me. <laughs> Oop! That was a bad one. That was not the hard part that I died on. Oops. I thought I missed that cloud, so I gave up. But then I didn't miss the cloud. Mm. I did the wrong kind of jump.
Please don't run out of stamina. Oh no. I knew it. I was taking a long time on that climb, and I felt I was like, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Yeah, right. That's also because it's open source, so. Quake gets used a lot for testing various video game things because it's open source and just has like a little bit of everything technical in it. But it's not as easily moddable so it doesn't get as many mods. But unlike Doom, since it's a 3D engine you can import all kinds of shit into it so it makes a good test bed. It was the first game we used the te technology at my last job that I can't name out loud, but it was the video game download one. I wasn't there when they did that, though. I was there when we used it to test, uh, to test, uh, to test porting our technology to mobile. I wouldn't recommend playing Quake on a mobile device. Ideal. Yeah, 3D levels are harder to make, and also I think it's harder to make, like, a... Even if they weren't, I think it would be harder to make a Quake level than a Doom level. Just because, like... Making a good layout is harder. Doing anything even remotely interesting is harder. I don't know. Wait, I messed up again. There we go. Over. And up. And up. I knew I, I didn't have enough height. I screwed up on the pink cloud. I didn't get enough height off it. Oops. jump straight up, and I'm supposed to jump straight up. But instead I jumped into the spikes. Lesson four. Don't jump into spikes. I hope you're writing these down. Why did it again? doesn't usually put you in a position where you can wall jump into spikes like that. But there's just like a bed of spikes directly above you on the wall, but here it does. And with the updraft of wind, it's very easy to just hold left and run into the spikes when you jump up. You're doing this like you're supposed to. <sighs> Hi Chai, you missed everything. Actually, you already missed, like, the end of the storyline of this game last week, so... Oh, this is where they teach you the move that I showed off before, where you jump off walls to get a boost. Oh, right. I need to use it twice. Oops. So they teach it to you, and then they immediately make you master it. Because both of these are a little bit tricky. You need to get... You need to get quite a boost off both of those to get up high enough. Wait, what? Oh, I screwed up. I see what I have to do. It's if you drop, it's, cause, it's not because you don't want to be here. Well, I sort of believe that, but I heard you went to events instead of being here, and that's hurtful to me. Because I can't think of any event in your life that's more important than how important I think I am. 
Oh, I need to do the dash jump here, too. Of course I do. I was trying to figure out how to do this without doing the dash jump. But you can't. You have to do the dash jump. <laughs> I drop it because I don't want to be here. Yeah, exactly. Ah, shit. So I've got to do that, that tricky wall jump. I've got to dash under that little segment of wall. And then do the uh, wall boost thing. And then do it again. It's tricky. Because you have to be directly aligned with the wall for it to work, otherwise you can't jump off it. Because you need to be able to actually, like, you know, touch it to jump off it. There we go. They just give you a little bit of fun there, I think. Let's see. Oh, I need to do the wall boost again. Off a tinier bit of wall. And again. I think it's kind of interesting to end the summit level here with a, a brand new technique, but it's also kind of cool. It's kind of like, here's the last little thing. If you want to get the last B-side here, Here's, like, the last thing you have to master. And now, of course, you can use this in speedrunning or whatever. Because they assume if you get here, there's a decent chance you care about speedrunning or getting, like, a good score or something. Dang it! I walked too far left, or too far right. Too high, I was too high to do that. On experience, I'm sure Chai is familiar with. It's a drug joke. Oh, I didn't need to do the dash off that one, that's funny. I can just actually wall climb on it if I screw up. Spikes. Lesson five. Don't run into spikes. I've just demonstrated it for you. Ooh. I almost screwed that up. Okay, tricky bit. <clears throat> I did it again. I was supposed to be a diagonal, and I just didn't put it wrong. Bad inputs, man. Every gamer dreams of the game of paradise where there are no bad inputs. Ooh, I had to do the boost jump right there, too. But I think that's the last one. I think I did it. Surprise bonus level. Well, not really. You just need to, uh, like at the end of the other B-sides, we are here to get the heart at the end of this little bit.
What do I do there? Wait. What the fuck do I do there? Genuinely not sure what I do. I guess I just have to do this. Wow, this gets very different depending on your spawn time because the cloud has its own cycle that you're sort of bouncing on that it's very hard for you to change as a player. So you can end up on totally different cycles. Or slightly different cycles, I should say. There we go. <laughs> Anime night is a chemical dependence. You're not wrong. Hmm. Pleasant. So there's the summit B side. And uh now we'll do the core. Not a B side. Oh yeah, I guess this is spoilers. But it's not much spoilers, I think. Spoilers, Celeste doesn't die. <laughs> I love scaring the bird. You don't even gotta do that at all. Oh, I lost my dashes. I think I actually showed the- yeah, I showed the start of this at the end of the last stream, but... I was not president of the anime club. I was involved in running the anime club because the other two people running the anime club did not want to put up with the people at the anime club. And I was willing to. One time someone threw a chair. Well, he really, really wanted to, but I don't think he could, like, heft it all the way over his shoulder. He was just sort of, like, lugging it behind his shoulder, and, like, I don't think he had the force to flip it over in front of him and, and toss it. But he was, like cocked up behind him, ready to. <laughs> yes, I was willing to. I've always been willing to put up with dumb, jerk idiots. <laughs> I like that, like, she's still friends with Dio, but it's not like he's a huge part of her life now or anything. Hmm. Oh, night, Yves. So you get here, you need at least four crystal hearts to get past this. 
Otherwise the door doesn't open and you have to leave. And you get crystal hearts if it hasn't been obvious. There's one hidden in each main level and then you get one for each B-side also. And now we're in the core. So a couple things. We um don't get our dashes back when we touch the ground. We have to grab a crystal to get them back. Makes them a lot more precious. We also get them back when we move to a new room, in fairness. Uh, and there's a lot of unique elements to this level, like the conveyor belt you just saw. Also these fireballs that just fly around like some crazy ass bullshit. I think this level's a little bit easier than the B-side I just did. Maybe a lot easier, but I'm not sure. Oops. So these blocks, whatever direction you touch them in, they will bounce you off in that direction. After a moment's delay. So because I touch it from the side, it bounces me back that direction. I didn't know anything about anime, and I had basically not watched it other than, like, Dragon Ball Z on Toonami. Um, until I became friends with the anime club people in high school. Not that they were the anime club people when I met them, but they were definitely anime people when I met them. I don't remember how I met them, though. They weren't even in my classes. It's like one of them was a year older and one of them was a year younger. I don't know. How the hell did I meet him? I have no idea. Anyways, they were not the people running the anime club um, in my uh, freshman year. That was this other person who was really, really stupid. Stupid enough that she, when she was advertising for the anime club, spelled it Annie May, like a. A N N, like A N E M A Y, and like she watched a lot of anime, so it's kind of a inexcusable thing to not spell it correctly, because it's like all you watch. Anyway, she was the president of the anime club, and they used to meet in the back room of the library where there was a nice enclosed room. Um, but then she got kicked out of being the president of the anime club. Oh, this is the other feature. Um, when you press these switches, it goes from fire to ice level. Which is cool. Uh, I'll finish my anime club story before I talk about the differences, though. Um, so she got kicked out of being the president of the anime club because a teacher walked back into the room that they were watching in, and they were just watching hentai in there. Um... And so she got kicked out of being the president, and then there was room for the new anime club, which my friends grabbed. And none of us knew that that's what had happened until much, much later. Like, they were like, why can't, why no, why will none of the teachers be willing to sponsor our anime club? Like, because you needed one teacher sponsor. Like, why do we have to go to this one random classroom somewhere instead of being in the library? Where, like, you'd expect to be able to use the back room of the library where the TV is. We have to lug a TV up to this random ass classroom. And then we finally got a teacher, and like, why are the teachers all suspicious of us? And then we're like, oh. Because the last anime club was just a bunch of people watching porn in the high school library. Um. So yeah, we never managed to shake off that stigma with the teachers, because I imagine that word got around from them. Anyways. So... When this place is ice, it's very different. The fireballs are ice balls, and you can jump on them. And, uh, the ground is slippery. And the blocks, instead of launching you... Instead of launching you, they just sort of gradually fall when you touch them. And the conveyor belts don't work, you'll notice. And the game wants you to notice that, because they make sure you need to use one dash to get here, and then you try and use your second dash to get up there, but you can't grab, because you can't grab the conveyor belts when they're frozen. The conveyor belts turn into slippery, ungrabbable surfaces instead. 
he was very careful to show you that. But, so this is the room that we were in before to get here, but now we have to clear it a totally different way, which I think is a neat little trick. I also like how many hearts there are in the background, and dinosaurs also. Big fan of both of those things. Oh, and these bumpers come back. When we were in this room before, this bumper was just a big, spiky, angry man who we couldn't touch. But now he's a friendly boy who wants to play pinball with us. Oh, wait, I need to only use one dash to get over there, huh? Okay. I think I need a dash to get back. But what if I use zero dashes? There we go. So now we can actually get through this. And I think I tried at one point to get through this. Because it felt like there was enough gaps in the fireball that if you timed it exactly perfectly, you could get through when these are still fireballs. But I think you can't. I think they just, like... Hardcore, you can't do it. They don't want you to. Hmm. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, of course. I use one dash to get up and land on one of them. There we go. My name is John Q. Anime. Wait. I can't make this jump. I think I've screwed up. Oh, well, it's stuck on fire mode, so... For a second, I thought I must have made the wrong choice, because I couldn't figure out how to do this in fire mode. But it's not the wrong choice, because I don't have a choice. It won't let me switch it back. Oofa. I guess I have to use the dash to get up there. Hmm. This is awkward. Well, it's very awkward if I die. Oops. Oops. I've ruined it. So only the fire block will get you high enough to actually go up there. Then you need to turn it into ice mode so you can land on the fireballs and get over here. Yeah, it'll only let you use the switches if using the switches would be something that's technically correct. Oh, that's a fire door. There. I almost jumped into it. Nope. Nope. Hmm, that seems tricky. Oh, just dash up you need to switch it to ice because you stop having the uh, little diamonds to recharge. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I bet there's something if I go backwards. I might be wasting your time here, but I think there's something if I go backwards. Here. Oops. Whoa, that's not so good. Hmm.
Oh, I need to have at least one dash to get that strawberry, huh? I think so. If I hit the right side of that bumper, it doesn't recharge in time because I just get hit right into the wall. Like that. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh, almost had that. But I flubbed it. Dang it. Nah, I'm dead. Oops. I'm not wasting a dash on- I can't grab these walls because they're conveyor belts and it's ice mode, so I need to dash to get over there. There's no other way to do it. Nope! Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it. Oh my god, I'm the biggest moron. I can just grab the wall. I'm so stupid. And then I get as- oops. I use the dash without thinking. Whoa! Whoa, what was that angle? Crazy. Made it. You can't go back to the left any further, though. Won't let you, of course. Point. God, I love bouncing off these ice balls a lot. There's no way I'm the biggest moron. You don't know how dense I am. I guess we're not talking density, huh? I like how the music gets excited for just a moment. It's like, oh wait, you died. Never mind. Mm, this is bad news. Oh, okay, I got that. I don't think I was supposed to do it the way I did it. I think I, I just skipped one of the buttons entirely, but that's fine. <laughs> I just dunked myself. Nice. Oh yeah, if it's not obvious, the underside of these ice balls is still spike. Still spiky, still hurt. Ouchie, ouch. Bad for Madeline. I can use my dashes more here. There's crystals to recharge them. That was like a note to self, not to anybody else. I think I need to remind myself that it's okay to dash. But I didn't. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I'm missing a secret in that room. It feels like I might be. But I didn't see one. Nice. I do not get to make another strawberry pie. I think it may be impossible to get the best strawberry pie ending um, without doing this level, actually. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It probably isn't. You know what? No, I'm actually pretty sure it's not, now that I think about it. So, these strawberries mean even less than the ordinary game strawberries. Oh, new mechanic. Classic something. Lava is rolling, rising from the floor. You need to not get hit by the lava rising from the floor. We've all been there. I actually totally didn't remember this was a thing. Ah! Oh. I thought the ice would slowly come to a stop. 
So the ice rises a lot slower, but it does still rise. Oh, I thought I'd hit the top of that. I screwed that up so bad. There we go. Wait. I can't reach chat if you're just gonna rise like that. Oh, if I don't move, it doesn't move. That's nice, right? How is made? It's valid to say hi at any point. Oops, I just totally caught that. Also, if it's not obvious, there are slidey floors here. I think the top of these blocks are slidey too, I can't remember. It doesn't actually end up mattering that much because you spend so much time jumping in this game that the slidiness doesn't... Uh, the slidiness doesn't really affect you all that often. Because you're just jumping anyway, but it's there. Also, I just realized how badly I'm doing that metal block section. I should be climbing up this block and then jumping to the other one. That's so much easier. And then taking the conveyor belt to the top. And then deciding to like go back and backtrack in the middle of the room for no reason. Ooh, these conveyor belts are tricky. How is made? Hello, welcome to How Is Made. Today, Twinkie, how get cream in bread? Me find out. That's my bit. It's how is, it how is it made, but the guy's a caveman. That's my bit. And I guess he likes Twinkies? Like, I don't know where I'm going with this one. That's ugly. Yeah, it was more of a cookie monster, huh? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, just barely. Ooh, there we go. Please come back. I used an extra dash there, though. I think. I definitely used an extra dash there. And now I'm dead. Maybe. I missed it. I need to catch that crystal so I can recharge my stamina meter. Or I just don't have enough. Oh, but I don't grab it if I haven't used a dash, huh? That's interesting. I need to use a dash. You're supposed to use a dash to get through that middle area, but I'm just really good, so I don't. Let me see. Too much. These blocks are real tricky. I like them, though. They're very responsive. Like, the angle they send you at. In a lot of games, this kind of puzzle element would send you only in a couple different predetermined angles. But in Celeste, there's, like, a ton of angles it might send you at. That was stupid. That's not how you do that. I think I had to do that. How is this getting- how am I getting worse at this one? 
I've missed the crystal. I'm dead. I climbed too high on the block. screwed up. Not happy about that. There it is. Just take my strawberry and die. Thank you. you just saying hi to people who aren't here? Because that's not allowed, Turtle. You can't do that. That's against the law. And around these parts, I am the law. Why did I do that? Why did I just, like, walk right into that spike? Very foolish thing. And I deeply apologize to anyone I've disappointed via this action. Oh, she came and helped. Isn't that sweet? Oh no, we're trapped forever. Just kidding. So now, when it's fire mode, the fire rises, and when it's ice mode, the ice falls. We've got to carefully manage that. By jumping into the pot. <laughs> They're the Twitch cops. I'd watch out for them, Turtle. They're both the bad cops. All cops are bad. All cops are bad, sirs. That was a pun, it wasn't really supposed to be a pun. I was just uh, panicking. And then maybe when I panic, I do puns. I don't know. That's very possible. There we go. Oh, this is like that helicopter cave game that everybody has played. is a racist top gamer song. Yeah. 
It is also Yoshi's Island, you're right. That also kind of reminds me, oops, it reminds me of the bit where at the end of every Kirby game it turns into a side-scrolling shooter for no reason. Oh! Oops, I did not pay attention. Why did you have helicopter on your Zoom? I feel like those aren't even the right eras. Go in, go in. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, oops, I didn't pay attention. Ooh, no, saved. Sort of. But there's a strawberry, like, way far to the right or something. Oh! No. I knew there was something to the right. It was too open. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm getting my couple times back. a nice little pleasant end for you. It doesn't have the synths on this one either. It's just the piano. That's nice. That's a nice touch. You also can. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, I missed one strawberry. Oh, well. And this one has a B-side. The core say goodbye mix. You can still scare the bird. So to get in this one... Ah, shit. That's right. I didn't get all the hearts in this one. I missed that one heart on that one level. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't see that. Actually, you didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that, actually. It's fine. Wow, I got all the hearts. I actually got all of them. That's crazy how I just went and got one real quick. I mean, I didn't get it. I had it already. <laughs> oh. This is a mechanic that unlocks once you beat all the B-sides, I think. If you go and replay a level, there's a golden strawberry. And if you pick it up, it stays with you until you die once. And then it goes back to the start of the level. And if you take it to the end of the level, you get the golden strawberry. I haven't gotten any golden strawberries. It's not worth it. It's, that's, for the, that's for the people who are better than me. 
and more devoted to just playing Celeste than I am. That's like the bonus challenge for the for the real devoted. I think like if you look at the achievement stats, it's like get a golden strawberry has like 1%. And it's like get all the golden strawberries is like nothing at all. Like no one does that. I don't even know if that's an achievement actually. There might not be one for get all of them. Oof, bad. That had to be diagonal. Alright. Dang it. Ah, that was a secret. I needed to wait till longer and grab the conveyor belt lower so I built more momentum. There we go. Ooh, I like these synths noises. I'm not a musician man, so I don't know what to call them, but I really like it. It's a very 80s end credit sequence. Okay, get over here, turn these into ice. This thing go up here. Yeah, no, they're pretty clear that the golden strawberry is like. This is for like the speedrunners who want something else to do, also. You know, like it, like the like killing the final boss of Spunky with an eggplant or whatever that thing is. It's like okay. It's cool that it's there for the real hardcore dudes. Huh. I have doomed myself. Turtle, you I think all your times on Hitman are better than me at this point. I burn out on Hitman 2 like I burn out on Hitman 1. Like, I, I on both of them, I told myself, like, I'm gonna get all the challenges. I'm gonna go for high scores on everything, but then, like, there's just a point where I'm like, eh. So you definitely have me beat there. You have some really impressive times. Oops. Too many other games are coming out. I just couldn't do Hitman 2 many more. Especially because my main person who I play it with just, like, stopped playing with me because he's a mercuri mercurial jerk. Mercurial's the wrong word. Flake is a better word. He doesn't watch my streams, so I can say whatever I want about him. By the way, that's incentive for all of you to come to my future streams because I've just subtly revealed that people who aren't in my streams get shit-talked really, really brutally. So, like, I might call you a flake, which is just, like, maybe the worst thing you could say. I can't think of worse words, so. Yeah, it's really, honestly, Turtle, you did some really genuinely crazy shit on Hitman. It's crazy to me that you got the times you did without, like, looking anything up at all. Like, that's, that's crazy. Oops. Nope. Don't have the height. This is trickier than it looks. Damn. And it looks tricky. <clears throat> I keep running into that, though. I shouldn't be running into that. Dang it. Oh, what? Hmm. 
I think I know a way to beat your Hawk's Bay time, but it was like, I got halfway through it and I saw how much time the other tap would take. And I was just like, no, you know what? Ah! Oh! If you're curious, Turtle, I think the key to beating your Hawk's Bay time is the fact that you can distract the target behind the piano next to the front door and hide her body there and or behind the couch. And if you do the right sequence of moves with a couple thrown items, you can, uh, you can sneak right directly down the stairs and pass them. And then you have to distract only her to behind the piano and kill her, probably with the fiber wire, and then drag her right behind the couch and run straight out the front door. All of which is technically doable. Like, I'm basically sure that all of that is, is a thing you can do, but, uh... All of it is such a gigantic pain in the ass. There's so many inconsistent steps involved in that that I wasn't, I was no longer willing to do it. Damn it. I mean, your Hawkspace strat is to cause explosions and then she runs outside. I pieced that together. Unless you found another one. Way too low. So I'm making that jump. Oops, I don't know what I was thinking. I just jumped straight over. Oh, I, I don't need to jump on the other side of this first block, do I? Since I'm dashing a little faster. That was bad. I flubbed that. I just want to do the first step without dying. Okay, no. Man, these dashes are not the hard part. Wow, that's a tight jump. Because you have, I have so little time to do it before these blocks vanish that I have to get really, really tight and I keep landing on the spikes when I come back around. Because I'm trying to literally cut corners. Way too slow on that second block. Every once in a while, my fingers just go like, I don't really want to do this one quickly, I'll take a second. It's like, you can't take a second. It's not allowed. Hey folks, as long as I have most of you here, two things. One, 
think I'm gonna start AHS next weekend. I think we're gonna start American Horror Story Season 3, for those of you that are doing that. I'll probably post that in Discord once we get closer. But I'm getting hungry for some bad television. Nope. Okay, how do I do this? That last bit's really hard. Let me think. There's no way I can get to the other side sooner. There it is. Whew. Fuck, that was hard. I'm always hungry for pizza MTD. <laughs> I had some pizza at the MFA today, even. Wasn't very good, though. It wasn't the main thing I had, but I was still hungry. So I went back for more food, and I thought, I'll just have a slice of the pizza. It's an old classic Za slice. But, uh... It wasn't so classic. The bottom was very hard. And it hurt my teethies. It didn't hurt my teethies, that's an exaggeration. Um, I saw the Frida Kahlo exhibit, and then we just sort of walked around for a while. And then we did the crossword in the cafeteria that my dad didn't know existed. And it's weird that I knew something about the MFA my dad didn't, because he has a membership there, but... <laughs> it was pretty good. The exhibit was pretty tiny, actually. And there's a lot of stuff that's, like, inspired by her, and there is a segment that was... Ooh! Um... When she died, all her stuff got put in the bathroom and just locked for, like, years. And then eventually it was unlocked and a photographer was allowed to go through it. And so they made a side exhibit of just the pictures of that room and that was pretty cool. Because it was just kind of all her stuff. But lying around. Ooh, that was... Probably not how I was supposed to do that last bit. I still like the Isabella Stewart Gardner. That's my favorite museum we've got, I think. Just such a weird ass place. If any of you are ever in Boston, that's my recommendation. A very rich old lady had a large art collection. Oh, that's not how you do it. I gotta go lower on the block. Um, and she specified, so she made it into a, oh, hold on, I gotta do this, actually. Uh-oh, that's not how you do it. How do I do that? Let me think. How do you do that? Oh, I have to land on it. I think I know how I do it. Just jump up and land on it. She specified in the, uh, I don't know, grant? I don't know what what piece of paper you sign when you make your stuff into an art gallery. But, uh, she specified that they had to keep everything exactly where it was, even though a lot of it makes no sense. Like, there's just, like, relatively precious works of art in, like, shadowed corners where you can't see them. Ah, shit. And it leads to things like, there's this elegantly carved sarcophagus. But it's in between two pillars. So you can't see the carvings on the side at all. 
and they recently took it out for restoration and they had like a big event that I went to actually it was kind of neat where like the restoration people were there and they talked about how they did it and like the coffin was out and they're like this is the only time you're going to be able to see the designs on the side so enjoy it because we have to put it back in the place like they're not allowed to talk shit but it was also like you know these these rare carvings are not usually seen because of the placement of it. And it's like, well, you... I mean, the placement is dumb, is what you're kind of implying here, right? Also, it's the site of the largest art theft, or most expensive art theft in history. In, in U.S. history? Probably U.S. history? Or is that global history? I can't remember now. It's good stuff. Because again, it's just some weirdo lady's old mansion. Not really even a mansion, just like a... I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Spelled it with two R's, Chai, so you're either still drunk or you're on, like, a, an app that is sober for you. And either way, I don't trust you. Buck Bumble is hot garbage? I've actually never played Buck Bumble. But I know the theme song incredibly well, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a great game. And the cultural heritage that we need to protect. This is a big-ass room, huh? I'm gonna need to let it do a lot of things really, really perfect in order to beat this room, huh? That's something I'm realizing. Also realizing it's pretty late. I get to either, if I hold jump, I jump higher off these things, if that's not obvious. So I can kind of control myself. What a flub. obvious club. Ooh, that was a dangerous recovery. Damn it! I was like pixels off from that being the correct thing. Really thought I had that one. Oh, that part's so scary! <sighs> That's so scary. Oh. Pinball, the pinball bumpers are so scary in this game in general. They're also really cool, and I'm glad that they brought them back as a gimmick for this level, too. Hold on, I can save this. No, I can't save this. Oh, wait, but the pinball gives me my dashes back. I totally could have saved that. Shit. I screwed up. Oh my god, I walked right into it. I just walk into those spikes with open arms and a warm embrace.
There it is. Whew. Your tablet does not have autocorrect. Why you got a tablet? Oops, I just didn't grab on. That was embarrassing. No, okay. That's not quite right. I gotta get to the first one without using my dash, and then use the dash for the second one. And then not miss the conveyor belt, because I'm trying to grab the very bottom of it. Bad. And then I just gotta time it right. Seems nice. I love these conveyor belts. They're so much fun. Why am I going so low? Maybe I should jump at the end? I don't know. Didn't have to be fun. I had to do and I didn't do it. I've got to use the conveyor belts to get to the first layer of spikes on each one of these so that I have the dashes to get to the rest. But this last one I have to make a really tiny jump off the conveyor belt. So the first two I gotta do a big leap. There we go. That's a fun one. Not too bad. This seems like just a bunch of nonsense, frankly. No! That was such a good first try, though. And, then I meet, and, and now it's going to take me, like... 20 tries to get anywhere near the end again, isn't it? How is that always the way? First try easy, and then all of a sudden, oh, it's so hard. Like so. Brutal. Like I cursed myself. I saw the future. Okay, I gotta learn to not, to like, feather the grabs so I can stay in place. Damn it. you committed this violence against me, a fellow gamer, who merely wishes to enjoy your game. to that a little more. Where the timing is on the next conveyor belt. Please don't run out of grip strength. It's so bad to do that for me. For me, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. It's 
room is ridiculous. Really, it's just a bunch of nonsense. I was right about that, too. I used hacks. I totally wasn't supposed to do it that way. I just skipped it. <laughs> Oh no! I wasn't ready for that. Not quite. There we go. Much better. Oh! What am I doing? That was real dumb. of hitting the switch. Bad. I think I screwed that up from the first uh, landing. What? Ah, oh, I tried to land for the ice. I was supposed to land on the ice first. Mm, almost. That is so hard to... Like, finding a way through these fireball patterns isn't as hard as it looks once you get it down. I mean, you'll still die a lot, but... Oops. It's not as hard as it looks to weave in and out of them. They tend to line up for you, but switching back and forth between the land on the ice patterns... Oh! Oh, you're just gonna kill me immediately, it's fine. Switching back and forth between those is so fucking hard. Wait, what do I do? I see what I do. I did the wrong dashes. That's an up and over. Almost screwed that up with the spring, but I didn't quite. Bad. Not so good, that job. Here's the tricky one. Dang it! I should aim for a lower ice cube. Ice ball? There we go, that's the secret. I was trying to go too high too soon. Speaking of, too high too soon. <laughs> I didn't even make a jump. I think I'm getting close to the end. Not sure, but I think so. I feel it in my heart. My crystal heart. There it is. Oof. Nope. At least one of my two dashes every time has to be straight up to get the height I need. I'm pretty sure. Ah. I had the right idea. For once, the answer is not to diagonal. The answer is to do only upwards dashes, but time them very carefully and delay them several times. Yep, bad. Good. 
damn it. Are they getting further spaced apart the higher I go, or am I just losing steam when I get up there? Probably the second thing. Not so good. Not so good. Oh my god. Stop being right there. I'm talking to the fireball. But I don't feel like it's listening. I don't feel respected in this relationship. You know, people said that a human and a fireball couldn't be in a relationship, and I thought they were wrong. But maybe they were right. Maybe the biggest are right. <clears throat> I almost saved that. Almost saved that one. pattern, but it almost worked. Bad! Okay, that's the one I need to stop doing. I'm tired of dying on the very first dash that I do after I get the crystal. Except for the fact that if you do your diagonal dashes at the start, you run right into the fireball. That's kind of weird. But everything else is really fun. Ooh, I caught the. Cr I thought I was dead. I mean, I died anyway, but I thought I would die slightly sooner. Oops. That was just me. Wrong direction. Fuck, that was a really bad one. I had no momentum. Oops, 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 oops. That was a good one, but I didn't get the timing right. But I felt it. That was a- that was not a good one. I tried to re-get the crystal, but there's, yeah, I didn't have enough time. It doesn't spawn that quickly. And I knew that. There it is! Got it. Oh shit, it's little parts of every single level. Holy shit. Oh wait, that's not how this one works. I dashed into it, but that's not how this one works at all. Missed the platforms from the hotel and the cloud. <laughs> Got it. And it's this room again. Remember this room? I remember this room. <laughs> what are you doing? This is in the supportive area. Uh, wait. Can I jump to the other side of that? I'm not sure I can. I don't think I can. I need to use the dash. Okay. Oops. That's not how that works. That's not how that works either. I didn't hit the side of the pinball. Bumper.
Wow, I made it. <laughs> and then I jumped way too early. Should've waited. Oop, I waited a little long. Fine. Didn't care for that. Make it, make it, make it! Ooh, nice. Recovery. No! <laughs> I just walked off! And I almost just yelled no out loud. On a weeknight. At like one in the morning. Sorry, neighbors. But you've heard worse, probably. If you can hear me at all, you've heard worse. Than that. There we go. Wow, I nailed that last pinball. Kind of surprised. Let's see. It was probably bad to use my dashes already, right? I feel like that one's just gambling. Get them getting through the fireballs. And between the timing being kind of out of your control and the angle being almost impossible to get exact, I feel like I'm gambling. But maybe there's an angle that's consistent. I do think I need to use this dash, though. Maybe not. Oops. Oh, no, wait. I'm dead now. Sound of time. Yeah, I think with the amount of time I have, I don't have the ability to wait longer. No! Ah, oh, I should have feathered my grab so that I uh, stayed on the conveyor. Didn't have the height, didn't quite make it. I bounced on another ice ball. Oops! Again! How do I control that? Not sure. Oops. Yes. Really? I thought I landed on the top of that one. Hmm. Oops. I walked right off. Fine. Okay. Guess I have to actually time this, huh? Shit. There it is. <sighs> okay. Now what's this crazy ass room? Oh, I have to do the jump boosts on this one, I think. Oops. The wall jump? I don't know what to call it. That thing. Ooh, first try. Give or take. Run into the spikes. Lesson six. Don't run into spikes. I 
hope I actually need to keep my dash here and I'm not just wasting my time, but I believe I do. <laughs> screwed that up so bad. Oh yeah, I need two dashes for the end problem. Well, no, maybe not. Hmm. I need to get real low on that last one. I need to get low, low, low. There it is. Made it. Well, almost. Low motion, low grab. Oh, remember the wraparound? Well, now it's an actual gameplay element, which I think is a really cool twist. That this thing that was just sort of like a cool cinematic moment earlier is now like part of the gameplay mechanic. Oops. So cool. Turtle, I've never danced to anything. This should be obvious. Keep track of where you are when you're green wrapping, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just perfectly timed. Oops, I'm dead now. No, wait. Yep, it's gone. Please. No, that was it! Nerves got to me. Oh, 
Oops, that should have been upwards, upwards. I didn't have a dash to get the thing. Ah, I did it again. I did that one again. Bad mistake. It surprises me too, because I don't see the spikes. Touch the heart to get your dash. There. I did it. That's satisfying. And definitely the end of the stream, because I'm a half an hour late. I may or may not stream some of the seasides over the week. But, uh... If I don't, this was the last Celeste scream stream, because this Friday is DMC5. I am playing it on launch. It will be a blind playthrough. I'm extremely excited. You can probably tell by the sound of excitement in my voice. It's, I'm, you know clearly an emotional wreck over it. Uh, just a static. This is my static voice. And thank you for joining me while playing Celeste. It's starting to snow here, which is nice. Snow coming down. Snowing where you are out there, folks. Thank you for tuning in to Radio Free Frank. All video games, all the time. Stay safe out there. Don't run into spikes. I heard that's bad. <laughs>